So um, the objective of this uh, macro is that we're going to read a file from the C drive is somewhere in test folders and it's called my file. So what my clients want is that you want this part where every time you see the name of this call command, right? It will add it into a new worksheet, just like what it sees here, right here. And the duplicate ones will not be, but the rest of the line will input into that respective worksheet. Something you see right here. So X Y Z will go here. Print servers will go here. Let's read the next line, right, and so on. So, comes to the next command line. Will commands will create a new the macro will create a new worksheet with the same name, as you can see here. Okay, so I'm going to delete these two workbook uh, worksheets. Delete it, and we'll run once the macro and show you. Power of macro. All right, so just run this code. We could have a uh, buttons right here. We'll run this code, and you can see it's right there here. So now I'm going to step through right, what is the code looks like. The main code is called read text file, and it will use another few function helper functions such like get values. Uh, these are testing, right? We don't need this. Get value, extract something, add new worksheets. So when is it? Act with, uh, the first step is that you start with reading the text file by using this code. Open. Right, open. So we start reading. So what does this code do? Well, is that it reads line by line. It reads from here, one line. So as we one line, we write it into a variable that is called this line contained. Right, straightforward. You know the answer. you know the code. It means this line contained. So this line contained, what it does is that we're using the left function to extract set student and set it to a different variable called MML command. Pretty easy, right? Now what's the next thing is interesting because we will create a worksheet only if the MML command is a different one. So which means that on the first line, we will create a new worksheet. But on the second line, it is not because this is same as the previous one. So how can we code this? One of the method is that we have another dummy variables. We call it current MML command. Right, set to nothing. but for the first time, this dummy variable will have nothing. So we will take, we will store the new MML. In this case, we are reading the first line. This one goes into the current. Line. And then we now have the commands, the command name. And then now we can use it to add a new sheet. So in the add new sheet, not only we adding a new worksheet, we also do a thing called, um, we also add the field, right? How do we need the field, right? We go to, we also extract from the first line, right? But we extract only this part. We take the name and the age and set it as the, at the first row. So we now go to the add new sheets, right? Click, choose definitions. It will bring you to that function, add new sheets. Now these are the codes. So these are the code for adding a new sheet. Yeah, every time you want to add sheets, active worksheet dot sheets dot add. Then after that, we got some get value, get text box, or extract data. So what is this does? Right, is that we basically get some text part. Uh, I just call it text part. This these two here is a text part. So why I use minus one because I don't want the semicolon. So I use I remove the semicolon here. Use use minus one to remove 
semicolon. Okay, so now we get something like name to here. So we put it into the split functions. The split function we're able to break it down into a array, array of elements. Then we use a for loop to find to run through the array for each of the elements. Now we're only interested in the name, right? This is name value pair. We're only interested in the name, so we use that. So column number one, right? Columns start at zero. Zero plus one become one. So column one means column A. Uh, one, it always store save this field name in first row. So that's why there's a one here. Okay, so that's left. We're using left to extract, for example, name X, Y, Z is one of the elements. So we only get left parts. From left, we take uh, four numbers, four characters. How do we know that? We use this. We find where is equal. The equal is located at the fifth position. So three, five minus one become four. So we take, we take left four characters, so which is name. And then we set it to name. Okay, then we done that, right? We go to the next element, H27. Okay, so that is the, that is the code to add new worksheets. So now we go back to, once we added the new worksheets, right, uh, for the first time, we added the new worksheet, there's nothing else to do. Okay, so there's an else code here. Now, we're going to extract something. For this new line, right, we also need to uh, do again the value. This time is put the, put the value into respective uh, rows. Something like this. X, Y, Z, go to 27. So we use extract something right, to extract using the same function left, get value. Get value, this is the code. Right, get value is basically you get the value parts of the of the uh, name value pair. So for example, param one equal x seven six, right? If you use get value, it will get it will return you x seven six. So you need some understanding about writes. The write functions, right? You get data. So depend on what data you 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 pass it in, right? So let's see what's the first things we get. Right? Extract something, we pass data. So what's the data? We get it from here, this line contain. So this line data consists of this line content. So this is the whole thing. So now we need only the uh, the part extracting the MML code. So we get this part, which is equivalent to here. Okay. Uh, then we need to exclude the semicolon again. So extracted data will only return you name up to this without the semicolon extracted data so now again we use a split but this time we want to get not the name parts we want the value parts so as you run through this for each loop again it will take turn put in the value into the respective columns and respective rows now how do we know this is the row that to put we use last row we use this code here Okay, so after you've done this, we go to the next line. Once we finish this line, we now go to the next line. So how do we know that we will not create a new worksheet? We use this. The current MML is now no longer say empty, but is stored with the new the, the previous command code which is set as stack student. So now we're reading the second line. As we extract the MML, it will get set student also. But now we compare whether is it different with the current MML or the previous MML. So now it's same. So if it's same, it will not run this code. It will just skip. It will continue extract something. What is extract something? It basically take this part and get ABC uh, twenty nine into this row. Right. Then after that, it comes to the third line. So now you extract the MML. It compare with the MML, uh, the current MML. 
compared with the Acura MML. Is it different? Right, different, right? Hmm, different. So different, so we add the new sheet. And then we do the things repeat again, right? So this code can be improvised, right? But for within a few, within an hour, right? I managed to solve this for my clients. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Ken Lau.